Hey everybody, we're going to do something really cool today. We're going to turn this into that. Hey guys, I got a really cool comment and there's something that I, I've been meaning to do and I just hadn't because I actually I kind of forgot about it. You know, getting old sucks. What we're talking about is taking it off field stripping rations and I've got one from pretty much all of the eras like current kind of stuff old school like I had when I was in and the intermediate ration so we're gonna field strip each of these like how I would field strip it now there is no one set way to field strip an MRE uh, it all depends on what you want what you like and we'll go from there now the goal of field stripping is this is a rather large item to fit inside of a rucksack or a salt pack or whatever you happen to be carrying. So our goal is to reduce this size by at least half, if not two thirds. We're gonna do that with all of these. Okay, let's do this new one first, or at least I should say newer. And you have to take it easy when you're ripping these open because you don't want to destroy the top of these. So if it's got a peelable seal, that's what we'll use. Now we're going to save this bag because we're going to stuff everything right back in it. And what you do is you go through here and you pick what you want, what you do not want. Everything else gets discarded. And since we're actually in the field, we don't have time to be making drink beverages. Man, the, the water out of our canteens is going to be adequate. So we'll just mix all that. Essentially, everything is going to be fitted directly into your main entree so you can eat it all at one time as fast as possible. Tortillas, accessory packet, spoon, what is this, hum drink mix, toffee rolls, these are Tootsie Rolls, creamsicle cookie, your tuna, and what is this, pray tell, cherry blueberry cobbler. <laughs> This is quite an interesting menu. Oh, and then there's some mayo. Well, they give you a spoon with every single ration, so let's just say that we're going to hold on to our spoon for a week or so. So we don't need this. We're not going to need this box. And we might not even need the cherry cobbler at all, either. We're definitely not going to make this shake out in the field. We'll look in here real quick and see what we're going to take. Tortillas, we're not going to be making wraps. And probably the only thing that we're going to keep out of here is most likely just the gum. And maybe the moist palette to, to clean up. And we'll keep these cookies and these toffee rolls. We're trying to limit it packaging. We're going to open that up and get rid of that. So already right off the bat, we've reduced this huge. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, instead of laying it like this, we're going to lay it lengthwise at the bottom of the bag. Same thing with our creamsicles. And, uh, and I don't know if I'd really be taking those or not with me. It's kind of moist tell it in our gum. It's always nice to have some gum. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your bag Spin it over, and if you want to try to make it watertight, fold in these and flip that down. But you're definitely going to want to keep this tab. Already we have reduced that significantly in size. Okay, and I was in artillery, so we had a lot, and I mean a lot, of electrical tape around. And that is what I'm going to use to tie this up, or to bound it up. Ordinarily, it would be black usually, but hey, it's what I've got on hand. And what we're going to do, we're going to leave a little tail so that we can fold this over and use it as a tab when we're ready to open this thing up. That's our first field stripped MRE. And then we'll bust into this older one, see what's inside of here, see how we can condense it down as well. In fact, let's try, try my luck on the peelable seal. 
and I'm starting to tear it up and that's not what I want to do. So what I'm going to end up doing is take some knife or scissors or whatever you have to make sure that you don't damage the top of your bag. And if you're in the rear with a gear, you should be able to snag a pair of scissors. And then we'll see what's inside of this one. See, just a whole bunch more junk. We're not going to take the time to heat these things up. I mean, we're out in the field, we're moving. Wheat snack bread, never liked the stuff. Pineapple pound cake, well that sounds interesting, I'll hang on to that. Fig bar, now I know from earlier experience this isn't repackaged, so I'm going to keep it as is. Drink mix, not going to be using that. We'll take a look at this in a second. And here that is, and out of all this junk, I would keep my towelette, I would keep the Tabasco sauce and the gum, the rest of this stuff, adios. Spoon, I already got one. What is this? Cheese spread, we'll hang on to that. And we'll get this out of the box. This is some like kind of chicken. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever had this menu, so I'll actually have to eat this field strip ration. And just like everything else, it gets folded lengthwise all the way to the bottom of, of the bag. Takes a little finagling, it will get down there. See, just like that, right on the inside. You don't have to be gentle. And then same thing. Get these things as flat as possible. Seal that up. Let's grab some tape. And again, you can see that little notch I put there. As tight as we can. Because we want this to be compact. Make that little tail. Bam. Now we got our pull tattoo. On to the next. Now these were the ones that I was familiar with that I had to eat. Oh, man. <laughs> and this was the reason why it took me 25 years to ever want to try to eat an MRE again. <laughs> so keep that in mind. I guess all that uh, trauma. <laughs> These do not have a peelable seal, so you're going to need a knife or scissors to open these. Which I have scissors on hand. Well, no disgusting odors or smells. Okay, we're going to take this, hang on to it. This goes away. We've already got something. We're going to rip all this stuff out of its packaging. And you can see just by the size of these boxes, these ones are really old. What in the world is that? This is the mixed fruit. Always good, always coming with us. And they always have a tendency of gluing these inside of these packages. No one knows why I've asked and ever other people have asked and they don't know why either. But this is just a tiny five ounce portion of beef stew. Peanut butter, uh, no. Uh, you know what? I probably would hang on to that. Cocoa powder? Nope. Wouldn't be messing with it. Cherry nut cake? This is coming out of the packaging. Maybe. Potentially. I think these are from 1984 because I see a four on there. Man. Crackers? Crackers are definitely going to use, but there's going to be a trick that I'm going to do because I'm already going to crumble these up into my ration, so guess what? I'm going to form fit them for my, around this, so they will fit easier, just like that. They'll go right in there. Well, maybe I'll do it with a beast too. There you go, molds quicker, molds easier. All this stuff is coming together. Right into the bottom of the bag, which is gonna be insanely easier with this one. because all these things are smaller to start with. And I don't care if those crackers are crunching, smashing, does not matter to me because I'm going to do that anyway when I pour them into my beef stew. Bam. 
am. And just to show you how condensed these things are, look, I got a standard MRE bag when I can almost cram all three of these into one bag. And that is how you cram all of that, that, that into these. Pretty cool, huh? And just keeping this real, there are a thousand other ways to do this, but the best way to do it is the way that you want to do it. So keep that in mind, everybody. And I will see you all on my next review or thing or whatever I'm doing. Bye.